Okay, the next step in our setup, we recommend setting up your auto reply in your quotes. And what this means is you can advertise on other websites, and currently we're compatible with the whole HomeAway network and Vacation Home Rentals. And when you set up your advertising there, there's going to be an email that comes into you that this system can auto respond to. So we automatically send back a quote, and you have to set up the messages to customize it for, for your business. So let's take a look at that. Um, the first thing you can do here is come in and find out what your unique email is, and it's just auto reply, then your property ID at iVacationOnline.net. So all you have to do is copy that email, and then we're going to navigate over to our other uh, advertising sites. This one that we're working with today is called Vacation Home Rentals, and it's a strictly a listing site that does very well for many people. Um, you come in here to the email, and you can see you can click on the email. Now this is the contact email for this listing and I copy and paste it there and then I click save. So what happens then is somebody that's on your listing on vacation home rentals that sends you an inquiry through the inquiry form to ask if you're available we grab that email through the iVacation online system and then we reply to them with a quote. So let's take a look at this in uh, real time here. So here is an example this is a, a home away email, so the person's asking about a specific date and time and asking how much. And so that came into the system, and then the system automatically sends back out the quote. Here's the message that you control in this admin, and then it's going to use the quote from the person and send them back an exact dollar amount with a, a link to click on it to book it online. So when this guest receives this email, if they click on that link, they're going to be sent to the booking page and given the quote for the date and time that they wanted. So it's a very quick, fast way to get in front of your guests for the dates that they asked about. So if we go back to the setup, what you have to think about here is three different messages. And we call them the available, unavailable, or conflicting dates. And just think of this as yes, no, and maybe. So your yes message would be, you know, thank you for your email. We are open those dates. And here's an exact quote. You can give them a link to your website. Uh, you can answer any frequently asked questions that you have. We list a, a link to our frequently asked questions page on our website, which is a great technique to give them all the answers they need um, you know, for that particular property. And then anything else you want. We don't rent the spring break group, so we put that in there. You control the message, so you set that message up here. The next message would be your unavailable message. So this is where you would tell the person, I'm sorry, but we're not available the time that you requested. But we do have other options, and that may be going to our other website that has other properties, or if you have a friend, or just letting them know that you're not available. The conflicting dates message is for when you have something that's conflicting. And by that I mean, on this example, this home is only available for Saturday, Saturday, seven night rentals. If somebody sent me a, a request for five days, they would receive this conflicting message or this maybe message. And it's going to say something to the effect of, you know, we look like it looks like we're open your dates, but we do have some policies of a Saturday to Saturday booking. Is that possible for you? Um, also, they may ask for, you know, seven nights, but four nights were already booked. Three nights are open. So there's something that's not a direct match. So we want to let them know that we are open and then we can direct them to the closest dates that we have avail available for them to book. So again, it's Yes, no, maybe, or available, unavailable, or conflicting dates. And let me also show you the uh, setup for the home away, which is a little bit different. So you would need to copy and paste your auto reply uh, with your property ID email into your home away account. And there are differences in home away's account. So you may not see exactly what we're looking at here, but let me show you what we have to do to get this to work properly. Um, if you have multiple properties, it may be this type of setup, and if it's a single property, it may be much simpler. So when you come in here and we went to Edit Listing and we clicked on Contacts, since this is a unique email, you can't have this email in multiple properties because we're specifically going to one property. So I'm going to paste this in here. So I had to create a new contact, and I do that by clicking here, Add New Contact. I called it my name and then the name of the property because that makes it unique. So I could have Joe Godar Tobago Sun, Joe Godar Destin Palms, Joe Godar Moon Baby, and so on and so forth. So you would need a unique email name, which is my name plus the property name for each unique email that you set up. And if you use the add a new contact form and save it there, 
I think you'll be able to, to figure that out. And then it operates the same way. The only difference is with um, vacation home rentals and home away is there's no images that are going to go through for uh, home away. Vacation home rentals, we are able to push pictures back of your home. We can't do that with home away. It doesn't allow it through that system. And so there, there you have your three messages that you can set up. And we recommend that you do that and you test it yourself so you can see what the messages are going to look like from your guest to you. And then the last one we have is the visitor. And we have some more function here we want to go over with you on your listing. Um, so on your listing, when you know this is out there to the public, let's say a guest comes along and clicks on this date and they're interested in booking this date, they can engage you on this email, this quote. And since I'm the owner of this account, it's going to give me this quote system that I can now manually type in an email right here and send this quote off to a guest. So this is a manual way to do the auto reply. Uh, just so you know, it's here. So if, if anybody is, if maybe you're on the telephone with somebody, they didn't email you and they're asking you for a quote, you can generate the dates that you want, then put their email in here, and then that'll push off a quote to them. And if I was not logged into this account, um, when I pick these dates and click email this quote, I would just be shown the visitor message. So let's say uh, two sisters want to go on vacation together and they're looking at your property and the one sister wants to email a quote to her other sister. Then she could come to this page and send her sister an email and it'll send her that quote. So that's the visitor email. So you need four different things that you would sign up for here. And then that way, you, all your messages are covered. You can manually send out quotes at any time by using somebody's email. And your vacation home rentals and home away network auto replies will automatically be set up as well. And as soon as you put that email in those other systems, it will start using this automatic system. The last thing we can go over here is uh, the tracking of your data. So as you see down here, we have the auto quote email data tracking. When you click on that, this is going to store the emails of your guests that our system has sent this auto reply to. So here we have the vacation home rental inquiries that came in and a little bit farther down we have the home away and this will just keep going on in time and become larger and larger and this is set up so that you can export these. So I want to click this button here I'm going to select all the emails and I'm going to export the selected emails down to my local hard drive to my computer. What this will do is it'll save the vacation home rental emails, and there'll be more systems that we will be compatible with soon. But it, as you know, uh, the HomeWay email is a, a unique system email. So I'll show you this first. So you can see that right here you have all the emails. And these are the guests that have emailed you, and we have sent them an automatic quote. So you can save these. You can market to them later. You can add them to your Constant Contact or MailChimp account. It's just very good marketing information for you to have and keep locally on your hard drive. But we do not download the HomeAway email because it is, it's a system email. It is not your guest email. So when you do the download, it will never include those unique HomeAway emails because those go back into the HomeAway system. It doesn't go to your guest. So that's the overview of the email and the quote system. Uh, we just recommend that you really tweak your messages and as your system is operating and you're seeing the message that your guests receive, you can always come back here and add to it. And we run pretty close to 100% um, accuracy and responses. And by that I mean we have seen the questions that our guests constantly ask. We have tweaked our messages. So it's rare that uh, we do see anything that the guest you know, doesn't have an answer for. And so as our emails come in, you will still get a copy of each of the original emails. So you can every morning or every day log in and look at your messages. And as long as that has been answered in the auto reply, there's really nothing else that for you to do. If you feel like you need to contact the person or call them, you can always do that. You'll have their contact information or email. You can log in to get the phone number. So if it's your policy that you need to talk to somebody before they book your place, by all means, pick up the phone and, and give them a call. But know that your auto email and your auto quote went out, and that is helpful for a lot of these systems rank you on how fast that you respond. It takes work off of you. And the most important thing is it gets an accurate quote with an online booking link directly to you back to the guest as fast as possible. Nobody will be faster. Uh, there are delays sometimes in all networks 
that when somebody, like when you're testing this, when you send the email, it may take 10 minutes. We've seen it take up to 24 hours before the other systems like Vacation Home Rentals will release that email to us. But once it comes to us, then we automatically send it back. So you can't get it out any quicker. That benefits you and your search engines. I'm sorry, your, your search capabilities on the other sites. And it's the best thing for your guests. They want quick answers. They don't want to wait you know, two and three days for a response. So that, that's a huge benefit on using that. Um, we think this is a very helpful tool. And if you have any other questions at any time, by all means, please contact us by a phone or email. And good luck with your rentals.